Hey y'all, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. I thought I'd pick up where I left off um, in my last journal with me. We did the first and the second. And if you missed that one, um, you can go back and watch it. Um, this is supposed to be the third. This is a envelope. And I did snip this side of, this is the, this was the closed side. And um, anyway, it's not wanting to lay flat. So it, it we're, we're having an argument. So anyway, it's gonna have to just kind of sit <laughs> like that. So um, I thought about covering it and then thought, well, do I really wanna do that? I mean, it's kind of already in a fall color. Um, I don't know, we might add something to it in a minute. Let's see what all goes on it first. And then this was a Thursday the 3rd. Um, I've got this stamp, the postage stamp down here. So I thought about putting this down here, although that doesn't show up very well on here. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Uh, it does hide that postmark, which if it didn't, it doesn't completely. And I'm okay with that. But let's see what else we have. So... I went to PT first, and I did 10 minutes again on the elliptical. You know, I'm, I'm rocking that elliptical. I mean, I know that's not, if you're new here, but I, I realize that's not a long time for somebody, but um, yeah, I'm just happy to be back on the elliptical. Um, I won't get into all of that. Um, you can hear about that in some of the older videos. But um, anyway, I'm excited that I can do 10 minutes on the treadmill, on the elliptical. Um, there is, uh, I mean, it's it, it wears me out and I get the jello legs afterwards. But it feels good to be able to do it. And guess what? Um, I had an... A, my Apple Watch. Um, after I got off, it said, it dinged my arm and it said, do you want to record this elliptical workout? And I was like, oh, yes, I do. I don't know what that means, but I do. Um, I've had this watch for, I think three or two or three years now. That's the first time I've gotten to record an actual exercise. I've gotten the stand ones and the steps and things like that. I can close those rings, but I've never been able to get any credit for exercise because I haven't been able to move fast enough or in a method that my watch thought that I was exercising. So that was an exciting moment for me. And I know you're like, what? <laughs> but, you know, I couldn't walk for a long time. So all of this is a big deal for me. So... If you've been around a while, you know. And, okay, so I went and did the elliptical, and then we did this balance board that, you know, I may have to rename the devil. I don't know. It it kicks my butt. It's, it's connected to a big screen in front of it. I can't remember what the system is called. And, no, I did not have a cute outfit and headphones on like this lady, but, you know. We, we don't live in the real world here. Not in our journals, right? Um, anyway, it you have to, like, balance. It's getting me to use that right side to trust the right side again. And so right and forward is very hard for me. So getting putting my weight on my toes and on my right side. So anyway, you have to, like, as you move, this blue dot moves you know, from side to side or where, however you're shifting your weight. And so we had to go, you know, to you ha the little say, uh, cursor thing will move up to like this section. And then you got to match your blue dot to meet their dot. And so anyway, it was hard and it's, I don't know the second or third time I've done it and it's been hard every time. So it, it's just, it's hard for me to do, but I'm doing it. Um, I can certainly improve. I have a lot of room to improve on my 
um, accuracy and timing and all that good stuff, but it gives me a starting point to see where I need to work the hardest. So for all of that, I am excited. And what else did we do? I had, so we did PT and then I came home and I did a video. Yeah, and then I went back out. Um, I had another appointment and then I went to the Hobby Lobby and then after my appointment, I went to Barnes and Noble and I got some new magazines, which you've already seen that, or maybe you didn't. It's I did a magazine haul or a magazine flip, harvest, whatever you want to call it. And anyway, I was pretty excited to get those magazines and they're... Um, I've got a project that I sort of have hinted about in the last couple of videos that I'm working on with someone else, and I'm excited for you all to see that. Hopefully, it will be coming out the end of this week, I hope, um, or maybe, maybe Monday. Um, just not, not super sure. So, um... Yeah, that's exciting. Uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. And, I mean, I can wait. I'm going to have to wait, right? We just say I can't wait. So, I got a lot of mess. It, it's just stuff right now. Let's see if we can put it in some sort of order on this page that looks good. Uh, yeah, and then I came home and had my Spanish class. So, if I use this as my writing section, and I, although this has lines, do I want to write between those lines? No, not really. I like this paper a lot. So, sometimes when I like the paper a lot, I'll put a few, uh, few pieces on here and then let the paper kind of do its magic. I might put this up here. I didn't mean to print those out quite that big. Um, let's see. What else do I have? I have one other thing I think that I need to put on here or can put on here. Um, oh, mercy. I worked the clinic today. Um, I'm hoping to get caught up. I, I'm tired of using that word. Um, I would like to, I started off a week behind. <laughs> that, that was not how I planned on starting October, but that's how it, it happened. So I, would like to get to a more current status in my journal. How's that? Um, oh, I should have said this. First off, well, it's not first anymore. We're eight minutes in. Um, by the time you, by the time this goes out, the hurricane will have hit. It would have made landfall and... I think we assume we know where and, you know, down in South Florida. And I'm definitely, you're in my thoughts and prayers. If you are or were in the line of that, I know that's going to be a rough, rough, rough ride for y'all. Um, I think I said that in the last video, but I really, really mean it. I know that's a hard thing to go through and that's a really, that's a big one. Okay, so let's take a gander before we glue anything down. Let's take a peek in this capsule. Now, let's see if I can do this without totally jacking up everything, you know. I mean, I have little bits of paper that I could use. That really wasn't in my capsule. It was in last month's capsule. I have more bits of paper. I don't know if... I, I just kind of threw this in here because I used the Happy Fall or something like that. I don't know if I'll use this. I like kind of the pumpkins. I, you know, I mean, the house is 
pretty too. I'm not sure if I'll use that or not. And it wasn't necessarily in my capsule. So I'm just trying to get out and I have stickers and more stickers. We saw these last time. And I put any fall stickers that I could find in here. I could use a napkin. Let me get all this stuff out. Some pumpkins, a football. Um, I was thinking about using doing a tab. That might be too big, but I'll hold on to it as a maybe. I don't think we need any big ribbon or these um, Tim Holtz things. I know we don't, I'm pretty sure we don't need an extra flip out. Not sure about this. I'll put it as a maybe. I'm not ready for candy corn. Um, I've got tags. Now I, no, I'm not ready to use that one. I was going to say I could use that in the, nope, not on this day. I'm not really sure. I don't have pictures, so I don't need a frame. Um, here's more stickers. Just some background stuff. Nail polish. More stickers. Um, some little bits of ephemera because the um, Allison's item of the month for this month is ephemera. Here's some more Halloween paper. I need to put all of that on the very bottom. Um, I have a band. I have a beautiful sunflower belly band that, or a border or whatever you want to use it for, that Hope gave me in Happy Mail. And I have, I could put Happy October. This was an old Pocket Journal Pam um, printable not quite sweater weather. Some of this stuff I put in here for when we go camping. I know I'm not going to use it till the end of the month. This I could use somewhere. Let me see. TV. More pumpkins. I don't have photos. So these, these are little frames. They're die cuts that I made. Um, they are meant to go around a photo or over a photo. I could put some of these, shine bright, rain or shine. Mm. It has potential. What else do I have? Not quite sweater weather. Happy face, I was happy. And I have more of these stickers. And I'm not sure, let's see, that's pretty. All right, let's, oh, and I have the stamp to it. I don't know if I have ink handy, but let's see what we, what we have here. Uh, I also could use, yeah, I don't think I need to put paper over that. I think it's fine the way it is, unless I did something like this. Doesn't really match. All right, maybe we convinced it to lay down enough. Let's slide all that over. Uh, I can cut this down. I really, it, as much as I put in this capsule, now some of it I'll use to make tags and things like that. Uh, maybe in the next, I don't know if it'll be the next video, but I'm planning on doing it very soon. But... I'm going to have to start using at least one to two, like some of the days I'm going to have to use two items if I'm going to get through this capsule for this month. Um, this is not horrible. It limits my writing space, but I also have this pocket right here. So let's see what we think about, okay, how about laying down? I was going to put washi right here. I was going to see what kind of washi I wanted. And then I could either use, I think I would use the happy face over the little sun. Um, could use the happy October instead. 
I mean, we might as well use that at the beginning of the month, right? Where would I put this and this? So maybe I put them up here instead. Okay, stay over here. You stay right there. Stay. And I would kind of like this over here. And I could write about my PT. That's not amazing, but it's not horrible. Maybe put her up there. And then this down here. That up there. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. Wait, I did a video. Stay. My fan is blowing everything. And then Barnes and Noble. And that. And well, I lost my little thing for my class. Oh, I found it. It was stuck to the bottom of the stuck to the bottom of the what? The basket that I just had sitting here, my capsule. Um, yeah, I'm not loving it. Not loving it at all. So, what do we do about that? I like the way that this grid matches this paper. This turquoise is not really in this paper, but it's not horrible with it. I think I kind of liked it the way I had it before. Like this and this. And then... These two things up here, and then maybe that down here, and maybe I use a journaling card. Um, bring on the weekend. It's not time for that. Use my little chick thing. I am love French fry. Uh, I'm a boss. That doesn't match. What else do I have? I need to make some more fall of the fall ones of these because I've already used. Mm, don't like the purple on that page. Yeah, I've already used a good bit of the fall ones. Um, let's see. What if I did this and then, no, because I don't need a belly band here. I'll save that for one when I need the belly band um, because I have this pocket. So what I can do is this can go in the pocket or I can use my October one. That's probably what I'll do. And then out of the capsule, maybe I can just use this and make a tab for this pocket, maybe. Oh, I didn't get, I got my little tab punch just in case I needed it. Um, let me check something else out while we're, while we're fiddling around here. This is in my capsule and nothing says I have to use it on the journal page. Um, what if we did that right there? I like that. Yeah. Kind of like that. It sort of blends in, but it's okay. So let's do that. I was thinking I had a bigger, um, bigger October, but if it's much bigger, it's not going to fit across here. So that's two things out of the capsule. So yay. These little reverse tweezers are very handy. Um, for gluing small pieces. I kind of want this tucked up under here. That art glitter glue, you don't get much wiggle room with. 
you get like about two seconds of wiggle room and that's it. Unlike a glue stick and tacky glue and stuff like that. So, all right, we have that and I can go over and outline it or whatever, but I can put 2024 right here. And yay, I actually have a thing on my journal that tells me what month and what year it is. I keep forgetting to put those on my journals. And I think I'll remember what year it is. And I'm like, oh, I'll remember that. Oh, I'll remember that. Um, I do have just some regular, like a little strip of grid paper if I wanted that. That one, I'd have to round all the corners because that corner's rounded. Or I could cut it off right here and then just... That's not anywhere close to straight either. What else do I have? This one I tore. I could cut... Nope, 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 nope. I don't know. Let's cut this down. And let's use this as a tag. I think I'm gonna have to cut it down further than that. Or, uh, do I have a staple remover? Ooh, that's a good question. I don't know if I have one of those. Oh, I do have one in here. Yay. But yeah, this was just a Scentsy, um, pumpkin roll scent or pumpkin scented, uh, car freshener. I think it was a couple years old. It didn't have a lot of scent left to it, but I put it in my car anyway. Made me feel better. Made me feel like fall. Even though it's still hot outside. Actually, today's been kind of nice. Okay, so if I put this here, I'm going to put the washi there first. Whatever washi I decide to put. I'm going to put that on here maybe like that I like that color with that I like that that's out of the capsule so that may end up being the only thing we use in here uh let's pick out some washi that's always fun so what do we think we want we've glued nothing down so far but you know we're going to start with the important stuff the washi so these are the colors we have to work with these are kind of summery. Um, there's my fall leaves. I have some pumpkins. We used that one a couple of times, but that might might work. Green stripe. I have green. Here's this kind of that might look pretty. It's kind of this dark green. It's different. It's not like, it doesn't say fall, fall, yay, you know. Or I could use this kind of cranberry colored one. That's kind of pretty too, but I think I like this one. Um, or I could put, ooh, pumpkin everything. That has all the colors. Well, sure. Let's just do that. I forgot I had that one. So, I want it to go this way. And I don't want to drop all my stuff. I want the words to face me. And, you know, I'm going to have to, well, there. That works out just fine. Wants to pop up anyway. There we go. And scissors. Oh, I've got the whole roll in the scissor thing. Yeah, that would not have been good. That would not have been good. Uh-oh, I just spilt some on my washi. Okay. So now we have both sides with washi. And I need to trim this because apparently it doesn't want to fold over like that. And then let's put 
this tab on. Um, I want it to stick out, but I don't want it to stick out past the, the journal, the edge of the journal. What's that going to look like on that side? It'll be fine. It says Scentsy. It'll be fine. It will be fine. I could have, like, you know, planned it a little bit better and covered it with paper or something like that. But, and then I could put this up here and not worry about that down there. I could put this down here. I'm trying to see where I want the stuff before I commit to that or commit where I want it. How's that? Um, that and that and that. The rest of it would go on this side anyway. Unless I keep this open for journaling space, which I could do. I could just take a black marker and make some lines and everything would be fine. And I think that might be what I do. And then this down here. And then that and that. I can overlap some of this like that. I like that little collage up there. And then Barnes and Noble. I don't know. That kind of looks heavy. What do you think? Like this. I mean, I could still use a little bit of this space to write. I don't have to use that. Do I want to use my happy face? Maybe. I could let it hang over the side a little bit. That might be fun. Okay, let's get this glued on. Seeing as how we made that decision. That was tough enough, apparently. Um, so far, I am liking this glue stick, this Avery. If you've used it before, let me know. Um, let me know what you thought. I think it's working pretty well. And it was a good bit less expensive than my Scotch Creates. Or the Scotch Permanent. Um, you know the glue stick. Okay, so I have this. That will cover up that postmark down there. And then so I probably will put this like right in the center. Like that. I really like that there. And then She's going to go down here, or up here, I guess I should say. I meant, like, glue down there, you know, how you glue something down. I might have to scoot over a little bit. Okay. I don't think I got glue on her. I didn't. All right, now stick. There you go. Thank you very much. And we can use some other washi um, just to kind of add some decorative little blurbs, little blips of something decorative. Um, I don't know where. I mean, it does say pumpkin everything. I think we've got it covered. So, what did I decide I was going to do with this? Like this. And may not use that. Or I can use this down here. I don't know. Kind of like it without. Like that and that. And then, I can put that happy face there. And then I can center this if I want, or I can put it over here in this corner. And yeah, I think we'll forego that. Uh-oh. All right, now I was just bragging on that glue stick, and now it's going to give me fits. Um, 
I don't know that that classifies as a fit, but it was acting like it wasn't going to stick. So, anyway, how are you doing? How is, how is October going for you already? Or so far, I guess I should say. Um, I, well, you know how it's going for me. Or at least journal-wise, anyway. Because you're, you've seen everything that I've done. Oh, I could use another one of these um, gnome journaling spots. That would be cute right here, and it would fit perfectly. And it would be nice if it was straight. Okay. Like that. So I can put this right here. I think I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. And then right here. And then I am going to use my little Tiny Tim stapler. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it without sliding it around. Well... Like I said, the art glitter glue doesn't give you a lot of time to do anything. Which is good that it dries that fast. That's nice. And I'm just trying to go right over those little staple holes. And yeah, I think this one will work. It doesn't give me a lot. I don't have a lot of journaling space right here, but I have... Um, I have plenty of space in this pocket. And where is my October? Here it is. This one might be too long. Yeah, it is a little bit. It's very long. Very tall. Um, but I can put a journaling, I can put some paper or a journaling card or something like that in here. And I have my little tab. And I have this. And I need to glue this down. Because I like it. And it matches. That's the only reason that we have. That, I mean, you know, that's the only reason we need. To put something on our journal, right? We like it and it makes us happy. It makes us smile. Okay. So... I'm probably going to glue that all the way down. I may not because that gives me extra journaling space. I'm going to wait and make that decision when I actually go to journal my page. And what else? So this is the fourth. Do we have time? Yes. We have the fourth. Where did I put that one? I put it in the left corner. Okay. So this is a more bland page. Um, I'm going to tuck this in here. Okay. And let's go back to this page. So, this day, I did not do a whole lot, I don't think. I mean, I was just at home. Let me get my bearings straight here. Um, oh, I know what I did. Aside from dishes, laundry you know, so on and so forth. I played around. Now, this is old. It says 2012. So, you can see how old that is. I planned around, played around with some planner stuff. So, let's... I'm going to kind of loosely cut this out. I'm not sure how much of it's going to fit on this page. it's pretty tall. Um, as a matter of fact, if I can get rid of those words, that would be perfect. So, I think that will work. Although it says game plan. I might leave game plan on there. Okay. Didn't need all those other words, though. And I may leave, if I put it here, oh, I could put a, make a pocket out of it. Again, it's very thin. Um, don't think I need a pocket. 
but I'm going to leave that side because it, it butts up against the edge of the page. Um, because I really wouldn't be able to scoot it over that, mu that much further anyway. So the only thing is, is I did just take up a good chunk of my better writing page. Unless I do it over here. And I think I'm okay with that, to be honest with you. Um, I have this one that says laundry day. Here's a big, if I needed it to take up more space, I could do laundry day like this. But since I have that one, I won't. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, I could use this one with the washer and dryer. Oh, look, there's dishes too. Well, isn't that special? I mean, seriously, that's kind of it. So let me, I'll keep those two or those three things out and make a decision between them. And let's dig in the capsule one more time. I don't have a picture for this day. I did make a video. So let's, this is the day that I made the capsule video, I do believe. Yes. Oh, and you know what? Oops, sorry. Flip, flip. Um. Oh, I was thinking I did the Hobby Lobby haul when I came home that Thursday, and I didn't. Let's see. Okay. That means I did not play with my stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby for two days. <gasps> That's horrible. Nah, I messed all that up for nothing. Okay. Okay. Alright, well, I'll definitely put this one up here. Doesn't look very straight, but it kind of goes with that color theme over there. And then, I don't have... I am kind of um, looking through my capsule a little bit. Um, I do have this. I could do that instead of, and, and just make this a pocket. Again, I, it's thin paper, so I would just have to be gent gentle with it. But that would work. And that's one thing out of my capsule. It's the only thing so far. Row, row. I'm wondering if I can... How many sides? Okay. Let me cut this in half. Because it has two images on it. I mean, it has an image on two sides. And then I need... Um, a piece of tape. Here, tape, tape, tape. Just a little piece. You just put a piece of tape on the back where you want to separate the, the back, if you don't know this already. But maybe somebody doesn't. Well, it usually works better than that. If you take, come on. Here we go. And then it just separates. Because if you glue it down with that backing on it, then your your top is going to peel off. Now I can't get rid of the tape. <laughs> it and the napkin were stuck to me. That would, that would be pretty. Let me see if I can cut around it a little bit. So we don't have so much napkin. So much excess, that is. And we might just do this for pure decoration. Because I am excited that it's pumpkin season. 
I'm still not, I didn't grow any pumpkins this year. I haven't had a lot of luck with them. Our, um, they've got to grow through the summer and that type of plant down here in the humidity just succumbs to disease and insects and stuff. And so I just really haven't had a lot of success with pumpkins yet. So what I may do is I think I'm going to glue that there. Let me move all this stuff now that we're done with it or sort of done-ish. Um, glue paper. I feel like a surgeon's scalpel. Okay. I'm going to attempt to put glue on the back of this. Which, if you ever tried to glue a back, back of a napkin, you know it can be tricky. But this is a pretty gooey glue stick. So, one of my stickier ones may have, might would have torn it. Because that's probably happened in the past. Now it looks like there's purple behind the pumpkins. I'm assuming that will dry. I would like for it to dry pretty flat without wrinkles. If that's at all possible. Did not do a very good job of getting the glue to the edge. So let's fix that problem. I like when I glue on a napkin, I like for it to lay completely flat and look like it's just part of the page, right? Okay. So I'm going to glue this down as a pocket. So I'm only going to glue on this, well, it's kind of like a tuck, I guess, not just a pocket, but a tuck. So I'm just doing those two sides, get it down here in the corner, Oop, nope, I missed the corner, whoa, I really missed the corner, wow, okay. I think I got the corner of the page behind it. Pretty sure. Oh, I did an awful job at that. Wow. That was really bad. And boy, you can see that glue through that thin, um, thin magazine page. Yikes. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm trimming off game plan, apparently. Apparently, that's the game plan. And that did not quite work out that well. But we fixed it. Look at that next page. is full of pumpkins. Yay! Okay, so we're just going to stick that in. I can still write on the back of that if I want to. I don't think I'm going to have that much to say. For this day you know there's just those days where you just don't have that much to write about um you know how's it how it, exciting is it to you know dishes and laundry and oh my but it's documented right even the mundane days we're documenting them there we go. And again, these pumpkin numbers and the days, and I just shook you. Um, they're in my Etsy shop. Oh, I could have done washi here. Do I want washi there? It's going to cover up my pumpkins. Huh. Uh, that's all right. We don't have to have it. Okay, so I have, I used two things from the capsule. Oh, the capsule idea, if you haven't heard of using a capsule before, um, I haven't said this in this video yet, um, the idea came from Lydia at February and June, and she puts together a capsule at the beginning of every month, and then those items she uses throughout the month in her journal and other crafting, you know, other projects, and... 
yeah it's just fun and so um allison at aj's inspired life she does one too and i'm really enjoying the capsule it's a it's definitely a good way of if there's things especially seasonal things because i'm so bad about like if i have my seasonal sticker books up there with my regular sticker books i'll forget to look at them and you know i just don't always think to use my stickers you know all the time so um do i want this over here or do i want it down here no maybe right there doesn't look very exciting does it hmm probably bring it down here yeah, so that might be, I think that's the last thing I have to glue on. Let me see. Or do I just want it up here? Maybe I just want it up here. Um, I don't think I'll have another sticker that I want to use. Although I do have some sunflowers and things like that oh i'm just putting it right there just make the decision to do it and do it okay labor over a little decision like that for no reason okay I, that i like that kind of half hanging out anyway because it ties in the orange and that blue and so i just didn't use the i didn't document that i did the dishes but that's okay although i could up here oh yeah i think i will that has that green in it and it's a magazine cut out i already have it cut out i might as well use it right use the stuff man use the stuff Boy, it's down there, huh? Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. All right. Well, that's two days anyway. I'm I'm slowly gonna catch up. And um yeah. I hope you enjoyed that and I'm I appreciate you being here for it. And we'll end on this note and look at this pretty pumpkin page and this pretty pumpkin. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I appreciate you being here. And um, I hope everybody's safe. Uh, check in with me, please. You know who you are. Um, if you're in the line of the storm. And check in with me when you can. Either on the Facebook page or here in the comments. Let me know that you're okay. And I will, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.